Hello! So today we're going to take a look at Walnut Hollow oil pencils. This is a set of oil pencils that I got and you can see it's clearly not a complete set from a friend of mine who was clearing out an art space. Oil pencils are different than wax-based pencils like Prismacolors because wax-based pencils have a wax base and oil pen these pencils have an oil base as you might guess. And the oil-based pencils tend to be a little sturdier, and they also tend to be a little more expensive. So a lot of people work with wax-based pencils because of the cost involved, and they don't mind, or maybe they even like that the uh, pencil colors are a little softer because it helps them with the type of art that they're going to do. So Prismacolors are well-known in the wax-based pencils. This is Art and Fly, which is a well-known name in the oil-based pencils. Walnut Hollow is less known because it's not really sold as an artistic type of pencil. It's sold more as a craft pencil that people use when they're doing woodworking and want to add some color to a little inlaid area or something like that. And all, clearly all the colors are not here. You know, there should be more greens and some oranges and some purples and so on. But let's take a look at how the Walnut Hollow that I do have holds up. And this is just regular... Strathmore color paper. Oh, and here comes the kitty because, you know, kitty must participate in anything involving art over here. Which, you know, is good artistic kitty plunking down right in the middle of the video area. Alright, so, and one of the interesting things I noticed about the set that I have here is that some of them are oriented to the left and some of them are oriented to the right, which makes me think that this is both a U.S. and a European set because if you look at book spines, um, in the U.S. book spines are red when you tilt your head to the right and in Europe book spines are red when you tilt your head to the left. So it looks like it's the same sort of thing happening here with the labels on these pencils. And also has USA, oil pencil, walnut hollow, and then ID number, in this case, 9015. And some of them have the color. Let's see if... So like this one says 9024 Terracotta. This one over here has the color up here. Now I suppose it just occurred to me that whoever had this set before could have just been sharpening them randomly on the wrong side or the right side. You know, usually you sharpen your way down so that it always has the color name at the top and you're not burning through that immediately. Could be that these people were burning right through the color names because they didn't realize that they were going to lose. I mean, like this one, the color name's already been, um, you know, uh, sharpened off. So... That is pretty funny. All right, but let's uh, take a look at how this works. So we'll put that up there. Now that we've got a cat involved. So it is nice and smooth. Looking on Amazon and such, there used to be entries for these, judging by um, Google types of search results but I couldn't find that they were selling any on Amazon. And the same thing with Etsy and eBay and stuff. It looks like people used to sell these, and I wonder if they went out of business or if they're just not available for some reason. You know, companies definitely come and go. But this is a very nice set of coverage. Oh, do you want to chew on a pencil? No, you're just going to nuzzle it. You're a good kitty. Yep, you're going to plunk right back down. Right there. So um, these came to me uh, poorly sharpened, and I did freshly sharpen them. And I admit that I was a little lazy and just used a cheap sharpener that I happened to have on hand. And one of the inner color cores uh, broke using that. So there is a reason to use the better quality sharpeners when you're working with better quality pencils to try to maintain it because if you're going to pay the money for the pencil you don't want to lose chunks of the pencil due to uh, inexpensive sharpening issues. I'll make 
make another little column here. So in general, I like the coverage that this provides. I like the colors. They are nice and saturated. Again, clearly I don't have all the colors available here in this set that I got. And I'm not even sure where one would get this. I mean, maybe if you have a specialty woodworking store, they still have some of these available. Or maybe they're just in a lull. This is white, so it's going to be hard to see. Yeah, you can barely see that. But if you're working on a dark wood, that, that might... Here, let's try putting that over. Yeah, even that's hard to see. So you might use that for blending to make a darker color or a little lighter. Let's try it on this blue. Yeah, see, so it makes that blue a little bit lighter in there if you wanted to do that kind of blending with a white. So just out of curiosity, let's take a look at the Art and & Fly. And let's grab some reasonably similar colors. Let's try that one. So this is the Art & Fly over here. Let's see if we can find a... Trying to find some colors that are reasonably similar so we can see how they stack up. Sweetie? Yes. Nice and chewy. Alright, well I have to say... <laughs> As much as I found the uh, Walnut Hollow ones to be smooth, the Art and Fly ones are just so much creamier. Let's try to find a blue. Love that one. Sweetie? Yes. Nice and chewy. Let's see if I can hold this up so you can see the difference. Oh, let me put down a red or two before I do that. You know, and you can't compare the color to color because clearly I'm just choosing colors at random and they have, you know, a different color set that they work with. Ah, ha, ha, no, I don't want to snap it. The aim is for you just to chew a little, not to actually break the pencil. Alright. So if I bring this up a little and see if I can get the camera to focus on it. Get the light a little up. The ones by the Art and Fly, which is this one here, which are also you know oil based, so it should be equivalent, are creamier. If you can see that, and the ones from Walnut Hollow start out much less um, smooth. Let me just see if I can, so this is the uh, Walnut Hollow again, if I can make it, no, it's just its nature, it's a little less smooth and creamy. So it could be because it's uh, intended for working on wood where they don't care as much how smooth it works on a piece of paper, it could be that it's just, uh, you know, the way that the type of oil binder that they've got in there is. But you should be aware if you're working with Walnut Hollow that you're going to get a different kind of result than if you're working with the Art and Fly or some of the other brands that are available out there. And then just out of curiosity, let's pull over the Prismacolors. And let's do a red. So this column over here is the Prismacolor column. Oh, that is just so nice. <laughs> I am a fan of Prismacolor, and I work with lots of different colored pencils because I work in the gallery and we have lots of you know, inexpensive colored pencils that the kids come in and play with. And it's perfectly fine for kids. I'm not trying to make a value judgment in here. But in terms of the pleasure of working with a quality set of equipment, the Prismacolor is nice and smooth. But it's different than the oil pencil. And I'm not saying that one is better or worse. You know, some people love wax pencils. Some people love oil pencils. It's a slightly different texture. 
slightly different way of cover covering the surface of the paper. Let's try putting the blue in here. But here, let me see. Even as much as I am saying that I really like the smoothness and the texture as the wax goes on, the Prismacolor, let's see if we can see us. The, the lighting is a little tricky. But the coverage of the oil pencils is more creamy and it fills in the gaps much more smoothly versus a wax based pencil is more gap ridden and then I mean you could do layers so that you can manage it however you do it but just so you know in general how it starts out and then these are the walnut hollows which even though they are oil based pencils have some of the gapping kinds of things that you see with the wax based pencils and even though it's a little creamier than the wax it's not as creamy as the art and fly but it's also cheaper so i think what we're saying here is walnut hollow is a perfectly ser serviceable set of colored pencils these colors are nice and rich you know if you compare them with super cheap inexpensive <laughs> colored pencils you get nice saturated color you get nice rich coverage and if you do a couple layers in there they will blend quite nicely but we did a bit of blending with the white to show how you get the uh, different layers of the color but you should also be aware if you're watching YouTube videos and seeing how other people do things with either wax based pencils like the Prismacolor or other kinds of oil based pencils like the Art and Fly that there's going to be different kinds of results so if you're seeing results that are we'll call it spotty or not as creamy it may not just be that your, your your technique isn't quite up to what other people do. It may just be that that's what you can achieve with the types of oil pencils that you have. And that is fine. It's just good to know that kind of information when you're working on things to be able to figure out how to make a change if you want to make a change. So this is me comparing the Walnut Hollow oil pencils. Not a full set, but a partial set that I got. And I'm comparing it with Prismacolor wax pencils and I'm comparing them with uh, artist grade oil based pencils from Art and & Fly and they are less expensive they end up showing that they're less expensive but they're perfectly serviceable and will make lovely art if that's the style that you're looking for so, ask with any questions <laughs>